Hi guys, my name's Ryan and I work in the European real estate investment team for a global investment management company. I grew up in the southwest of England uh, and went to a local school there before going to Cambridge University to study a degree called land economy, which is basically a mix of economics, uh, of law and of geography. So I would say a pretty broad based degree really. When I was in my second year at university, uh, I did an internship over the summer with my current team and then was subsequently offered a position on the graduate scheme uh, for once I'd finished my degree. Now, the company I work for is actually based in Singapore, which meant that when I started the grad scheme, I got to move over there for six months. And then subsequently, I moved back to the UK to take up my current full time position in the real estate team. In terms of my job, so my team basically exists to invest our clients money in a broad range of real estate uh, investments across really the whole of Europe. Now, that can be anything from maybe buying an office tower uh, to setting up a specific venture which aims to kind of build individual houses or even giving uh, another real estate investment company a loan and, and anything in between. So a, a very broad range of different things we can do. Generally, in order to help us do that, we tend to work a lot with counterparties on the ground in different countries who help us with the day to day operations of our investments. My sub team, which uh, is the France and Germany team, so they're the markets I tend to cover. And no, I don't speak French or German. For us, it's particularly important we have good on the ground local counterparties because obviously we're based in the UK, but investing in other European countries. In terms of seniority, uh, so I'm an associate, which is the most junior investment role in my company and the level most people start out at. My specific role involves a wide range of things, but I probably spend most of my time either preparing investment, investment memos to share ideas with our senior investment committee, really making sure that we have the kind of required internal approval before we commit to any investment in a big, big way. Uh, and the other thing I do is uh, spend my time kind of building models running numbers to try and forecast returns on potential investments that we might make, as well as general market analysis to ensure that as a team, we can ensure that we back up our investment decisions with a strong rationale and really have strong conviction uh, in what we're doing.